Um, but I digress. Um, I was talking about being out of touch with playscapes. Once I realized that I was out of touch with the modern playscape, I decided since I was going to be involved with this program, I really should investigate and see what they were like and how they could possibly cost as much as the whole reading program, um, or, or even almost as much as a full second of the war in Iraq. <laughs> advice ever the teacher, I'd like you to learn from my experience. If you're an adult male and you're planning to spend time around playscapes, um, bring a child with you. <laughs> leave the trench coat home. And if you must bring the trench coat, Wear something under it. <laughs> I think I can be forgiven for not knowing about playscapes. After all, when I was a child, you know, there were no fancy playscapes. There wasn't even such a word. There was no such word as playscape. You know, when we had our recess, we had it on the playground. And that's what it was. It was ground. <laughs> and we played it. most of the boys would spend at least part of the time just running en masse. This is the running game. We were running en masse in unison, the way flocks of birds move, swooping down upon the girls who fled from us, also in unison, like birds, um, uh, to, you know, to escape us. And you think, why were we chasing them? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, none of us did. And um, as far as I know, nobody ever actually caught a girl. <laughs> Countless near misses, but at the last second, they would manage to elude us. And why was that, you might ask? Like, were we slow? Obviously. Um, but we could run fast. <laughs> Um, this was not about foot speed. We ran at just the right speed that we could almost catch a girl, but not quite. Because think about it, if we did catch one, what were we going to do? <laughs> Throw her down on the ground, jump on her? Um, uh, wrap her in a passionate embrace like in the mushy parts of the cowboy movies that we used to love so much? I mean, I didn't have a clue. I had no idea. But I'm working on it. I'll get back to you if I figure this out. Um, and then sometimes, all at once, for no apparent reason, it, was, it would become Sadie Hawkins' day. We'd all change directions. <laughs> and now the girls would chase after us. But apparently with the same ambivalence that we had about catching them. Because I know, for my part, I ran even slower. <laughs> being chased. Um, I mean, sometimes I didn't even run at all. I pretend like I was distracted. I'm not. Look at this. Um, <laughs> but I still wasn't caught. You know, I was hoping I would be caught. I figured these girls must know what's supposed to happen. They were chasing us. But um, I never was. Nobody was except Albert Montoni who miraculously <laughs> entered puberty around the middle of third grade. <laughs> it's strange to say, Albert could run faster than any of us. 